All right, we're going to try some autofocusing and see if uh, this issue of using F log or dynamic range of very high dynamic range, uh, the autofocusing doesn't work as fast. All right, so I'm going to move the camera here. And it's detected my face, but it's still not focusing. Uh, excuse me if I'm looking up, not directly to the camera. And it, now it's locked on my face and focused. Right now I'm using the Fuji X-H1. Uh, one, so here are the settings. Uh, shutter speed is a 1 48th of a second, f2.8. Um, it's overexposed by a third or so. It's at 800 ISO. It's an F-log. We're using, we're doing 4K. We'll see if, uh, if YouTube could display it. I'm having some issues with YouTube displaying 4K. Um, let's see what else. Uh, it's on continuous autofocusing because it's on um, face detection. I'm using a focus, small HD's uh, focus. I'm also, uh, it's in boost mode. I'm using some lavaliers, it's a windy day. And it's focused now. There might have been a little bit of uh, hunting there, but uh, let's see. Let's move like this a little bit. It looks like it's still in focus. We're gonna do this, we're gonna move it out. It's focused in the center somewhere. Now I'm gonna move it back. Eh, it's not focused there, but it's beginning to focus now. It looks like it's still focusing or keeping me in focus, I should say. All right, so I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna move it over here. It's focused there. I'm gonna move it back and locks in pretty good. Let's do that again. It's focused on those plants, those trees. And now I'm gonna move it back. It's not focused. Uh, uh, it looks focused. Took a little while there. Been testing this for a little bit now. And sometimes it does go off focus a bit. Now, let's try Eterna uh, with dynamic range of 100 and see if there's a difference. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're going to try the same thing again, this time with Eterna with the same settings. All right, I'm going to turn it here. Wow, automatic. It just snaps in really nice. No problem whatsoever. All right, let's turn around like this. Let's see if it keeps me in focus. I'm bobbing, going back and forth. But face detection is really working with the autofocus. Look at that. Not bad at all. Let's see if I don't fall. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Okay, and we'll go here. Uh, maybe turn more. There we go. Something like this. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move it over. And now I'm going to move it back. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Presto. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at that. Okay. Now we're going to use the dynamic range of 400. We might have to change maybe the ISO or something. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Now we have Eterna, but we have a dynamic range of 400. And I'm gonna turn here. And it's not focusing. <laughs> it almost has that same issue again, where in F-log, it wasn't focused. It was not incredible. Same settings, everything's the same. And finally, it catched up. Wow, 
Well, at least it's not doing any focus hunting. You know, it's sort of on me. And now I'm going to turn around, bob a little bit. Looks like it's still locked on me pretty well. Takes a little while, I guess, at first to figure out if I'm locked in or not. And then focus after that. And there we go, look at that. That kind of worked. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm going to turn over here. And now I'm gonna turn it back. And it's, the, my face is detected, but I am not in focus. Maybe if I move a little bit like this or like that, it's sort of locked. It's locked in, but the focus is sort of there. Not really. I don't think it is. Kind of is. I don't, I don't think it is. That's crazy. Ah, there it is, right? Now it's in focus. It should work with my glasses and it should work without. Now you might recognize this place because I utilized the same place when I had my X100F. And I didn't do this particular test when I turned around and stuff. I was like far away, close and whatever. Um, that would be interesting to do the same type of test. But I thought using something like this it would be different and maybe more educational, who knows. Okay, so the next thing I want to do Yes, so the next thing I want to do is use it, use Eterna 400, but this time I am not going to use face detection. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have Eterna and the dynamic range is at 400, but this time I don't have face detection on. And I'm gonna move over. The square is right on my face and it hasn't really determined if I am in focus or not. <laughs> That's really weird, isn't it? It still is not on focus. Come on, I just have to shake a little bit. I just have to put my hand. Wow, really weird, isn't it? Not in focus yet. Probably if I half press the button, it would probably work. Let's half press the button. No, that didn't work. As a matter of fact, I, I did half press the button, but it turned off. Now that I pressed the button and, and now I'm in focus. But if I go over here, it's in continuous autofocusing, right? And now I move it back here. Now I'm in focus. And it's possible that it had a little memory there that I was here. I don't know. So what we're going to do is, and there's a little focus hunting there. We're going to do dynamic range, no dynamic range, but this time with uh, continuous autofocusing. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so we have no dynamic range. Well, dynamic range at 100 but it's not at 400 anymore. It's a Turner and it's continuous autofocusing with no face detection. Let's see what happens. Bam, look at that, automatically. Isn't that crazy? That is super crazy. Hmm, we're gonna move over here again. Let it focus there a little bit. And now, come back to me, and there it is. Well, it's true. It seems like it's um, pretty valid to say that when you use the dynamic range of 400, the, it seems like the uh, camera is having some issues, and of course there's gonna be a firmware update pretty soon. 
But in terms of F log, which I guess uses some of that, it gives you a dynamic rate to 400. It seems like it has some issues. All right, what we're gonna do next is get in the sun. We're gonna use dynamic range of 400 and find out if we have the same issue. All right, I'll be right back. So this is now 1 48th of a second, F 3.2. Exposure compensation now is at 1.6. The ice was at 800 and that's because the dynamic range is at 400. So it automatically goes to 800. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this. And it focuses on me. How about that? There's probably a lot more contrast in my face, definitely, than before. And if I twirl around, now there's no face detection on this. This is just continuous autofocusing. The square is right on my face. And how do I know that? Because if I move out of the way, the tree's in focus now. But if I move back here, I'm in focus. And again, the whole point here is, can I see, can you see my face, right? All right, now I'm moving back over here. Yeah, I know, it's blown out, yeah. This side is really blown out. We might be able to change that, let's see. That's kind of exposed, sort of. Not really, it's a little too dark actually. For my taste, I'm gonna move it over here. It should be focusing on those trees. Now, let's see. It looks like it's focused on my face, definitely. I'm gonna turn it around here a little bit. I'm gonna move it back to three point. That was 6.4 actually. I'll move it at four. One more time, I'm gonna move it over here. I should be off focus. Move it back, in focus. All right, I'm gonna turn this off again. This time I'm gonna use uh, face detection with dynamic range of 400 in the light. Well, it's the bright light, right? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, now we have face detection on. Dynamic range is at 400. I turn up and I'm in the bright sunlight. And let's see, yeah, it works. It determines my face and I'm in focus. And if I go around like this, it's still detecting my face. I'm still in focus. And it looks like it's working. So the main issue is low light. In low light, it looks like, it looks like it. It looks like in low light, it has some challenges. Now let's see if that's the case. Let's move on. Let's go back where we were before in the shade here over here somewhere. I think I was right here. The grass is <laughs> pounced on. Okay, I'm gonna move it over here. For hopefully it's focused there. I can't really tell at this distance. But I'm gonna turn it around. And it's struggling. Look at that. It detects my face at this point but it can't focus but the moment let's see the moment let's go over here again the moment I'm in the Sun see it detects it so I don't know I don't know what's going on in there maybe I don't know how many face uh, detection points there are in the Fuji X-H1 when in video mode. It doesn't seem to be many or somehow the dynamic range of 400 seems to affect it. Or is it using contrast? Because right now, if it was using contrast, it's easily detecting my face. So there you are. 
if you're in a bright area like right now, that shouldn't be an issue. You can use dynamic range of 400, you can use F-Log, and it should work with face detection. And of course, that's gonna be with continuous autofocusing. The moment you are in the shade, that's gonna be an issue. Um, it's possible that it won't focus automatically going from one situation to the other. But I can probably tell you this, is that if you're like, for example, sitting in the car using um, the F-Log and you half press the button, it sort of focuses on your face almost automatically and then it'll work probably. It's in the situation where you move it out over here somewhere and then you move it back in where the camera is having some issues. Now, all this time, I am assuming that my, I'm viewing this correctly, and I'm pretty sure I am. And when I get home, of course, I'm gonna be looking at this even closely, see if there's any focus hunting. But I'm glad that Fuji is really working on this. First of all, with the firmware that's coming up pretty soon. But a lot of people have told me that the X-H1 should have the same issues as the X, T2 or the X100F or the XE3 in terms of focusing. One thing that I did not do was to, in any of the cameras that I have, and maybe I could do it with the um, X100F, is put it at a high dynamic range and then just put it, or don't put it at a high dynamic range, but don't be in the shade be in a bright contrasty situation and using face detection. Question is, will it work? It might. That would be an interesting test to do because most of the time that I use the X100F is in kind of like in a shaded, not very bright contrasty situation like this because, you know, it doesn't look as great as, you know, something like here, right? That looks a little bit better because the background is a little bit dark. Um, my face is not completely blown out and uh, I'm not squinting either. Okay, so I hope that's useful. I know it was a kind of long video. If this is something that was useful for you, uh, please uh, subscribe. I'm really looking forward to making the next video. All right. I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.